Hello folks, Dave Shaving Cream is uh, from Omega. This one here has got eucalyptus in it. It's going to be great for my nose this morning. <laughs> and decided to follow up with uh, Sterling's uh, eucalyptus mint. This is glacial formula, so it's going to be really fun this morning. Temperatures here are the here in Oklahoma the past few days uh, haven't even got above freezing. So, yeah, I thought maybe a <laughs> shape like this ought to be in order. I've got the lather whipped up here, my Crown King Scuttle. Let's see if I can do this without. It's still got the hot water in there. That's what it looks like there on the inside. Got it all whipped up here with a uh, Omega S brush. This one here is like the pro version. It's got the tall loft and... Uh, get turned around there. That's what the bottom of it looks like. At least this is the one that I've got. And it seems like these are getting harder and harder to find, but you might be able to find one of these. It's, like I say, it's whipped up pretty nice. Didn't take very long either. Great for my nose. Shaver of the day. Has a blade, uh, it's got the Persona X series uh, half blade and a Parker. This is uh, the white one. Here, just get turned around like this. This is a Parker, uh, what they refer to as a push type. And so the PT push type and then the W for the white, for the white scales there. And you can kind of tell, there we go. There is, uh, sometimes that's referred to as a rail. That's right there. If I remember, if I don't get <laughs> sidetracked at the end, I'll go ahead and push it on out. It does have the blade in there, if you can see that. There it is. And that's some of the artwork that's on the spine back there. It's pretty nice looking. That's what the inside of the scales looks like. But uh thought I'd go ahead and run this by. Um, shaver I've got over here on the side just in case things go south. It's just one of those things that I have that I do. I've got a uh, Jim G bar already ready to go just in case uh, I should happen to need it, especially to touch up this area right over here. I've already put a hot towel paste this morning, so we'll go ahead and get started with the uh, Phoenix Artisan um, pre-shave cube here. This one here is the Christmas one. And um, I forgot to bring it in here, but uh, I'll mention it again. I'll go ahead and put a link down below. Hopefully they're still in stock. I haven't looked again. Uh, there's another pre-shave cube that's out for uh, Valentine's Day and uh, if you're interested in getting picking up one of those and it's going to be limited so in other words uh, uh, it's not going to be like some of the other pre-shaved cubes that are I guess you might say more or less available year-round this one here is going to be in limited supply so if you're interested you might want to hop right on on it they're not real expensive I think it's $6.95 for an eight ounce uh, pre-shaved soap. And as you can tell, it does last a while. And relatively easy to use. Yes, temperatures around here has uh, uh, been a little bit, how can you say, unseasonable. It's not uncommon for it to be uh, below freezing, you know, for the nighttime lows, but usually, you know, you get up around 40 degrees during the day, so it does warm up somewhat. But um, here of late, uh, matter of fact, I think all this week, we haven't been above freezing, and the rest of this week, we're not expected to be above freezing, even for the high. Uh, they're saying either Sunday going into Monday, somewhere in that time frame, we're expected to get... Uh, Another six inches or so of uh, snow. <laughs> it kind of goes back to what I mentioned before on the days where we were hitting, you know, 60s and having just really great weather and, you know, January going into February. And yeah, some point in time, you got to pay for that. <laughs> and I think we're paying for it now. But anyway, yeah, weather-wise, it's Oklahoma. I think, I can't remember for sure whether it was listed as snow showers. Anyway, it was kind of funny. In other words, they're already trying to prep us, you know, for the 
for the weather coming. So I'm sure here pretty soon, if not already, the grocery stores will be out of everything. Especially your typical, you know, your, your milk, your eggs, your bread. I have noticed, though, that toilet paper seems to be in good supply. <laughs> People haven't quite went nuts on that. For me, this, this works. It's not over-the-top eucalyptus, if that helps any. It is present. It is noticeable. But it's not over-the-top, you know, instantly. As soon as you start to uh, put it on your face, in other words, uh, it, it's there. You notice it, but it, like I say, it's not over-the-top. This Parker Push Type, reason why I wanted to wait till the end. Uh, not For the somebody starting out, you probably want to use the one... That's what they call a clip or what I call a clamp that, you know, that has a pivot point. You might want to start with that one. This one here, in other words, until you get kind of used to how a uh, shave bed uh, functions, I guess you might say. Uh, you might want to wait a moment. That's what the end of it looks like there. You might want to wait a moment before you try one of these because it's a little bit tricky getting a blade it's not getting the blade in, installed into the track. It's getting the track with the blade in there and not moving. It, it can be a bit tricky. And uh, if you're not real familiar with it, uh, in other words, it could be off-putting for some folks, especially if you're new to it, and then you may not even want to use it. It's not that tough to adjust it after you get it in there because it, the blade has a tendency to move just a little bit. In other words, it's at an angle. It doesn't take a whole lot to push it back in there, but... In other words, until you get comfortable using something like this, you might want to use the one with the clip. But the scales are different. Then the one with the... Um, the <laughs> yeah, the scales are different than the one that's... Uh, uh, got the clip. In other words, it's got that neat artwork on the on the spine. That's pretty cool. Um, that that's you know unique for a uh, shave app. Now I have used this before, and not had a problem loading the blade. This time it was uh, an issue. Several tries. In other words, I was trying to get it in there, and the blade would it always catch so I don't know if it's the blade itself that I'm using that's causing that or if it's just nature of the beast here now if you watched Red Island Shaver he does mention it and it is one of those things for me that uh, from time to time it is uh, uh, how can you say something you have to maneuver around with is the fact that it is a folder. For me, uh, Camasori style is a lot easier to use. There's a, um, as goes for Camasori style, there's a few of them that are out there that are being made. Uh, at various different price points. Uh, I have not, well, I think the name of it is a CBJ. I think that's the name of it. It's three letters. I may have got them in the wrong order. But I uh, have not tried that one. It is cheaper than uh, Feather Artist Club. But uh, my neck of the woods, uh, it's um, Feather Artist Club, run you about 60 bucks. where this is, depending on when you get it and where you get it. Uh, I guess you might say Typical price might be around the $20 mark. You can find them cheaper depending on what website you go to. Um, I've seen them go as low as $13. And if you can find them on a deep discount, around $10. Butterfeather Feather Artist Club. Camasori style. Is really easy to use. At least that I, I find it easy to use. But it does not take DE blades snapped in half. 
that is the was the biggest drawback for me. Um, it's just the fact that you're going to be buying a whole different set of blades or blade depending on how you want to look at it for your shaver and uh, in the beginning I was not comfortable doing that really didn't want to uh, I wanted to find something along the lines that would work with a uh, just a DE blade and uh, what I'm looking for is I got my angle off just a little bit through here don't see that it's bleeding just yet Oh, my last shave on the I don't know if it showed up. Didn't notice it on the video. Uh, <laughs> I noticed that after I shut the video off, you know, and I'm cleaning up and I'm looking and, oh my goodness, look, I got a weeper over here. <laughs> I had no idea that I that it had popped up. So sometimes these things pop up well after the fact. And it, the way I look at it, that what how that comes about is that you uh, uh, the uh, I think it's the aftershave that's got alcohol in it. Sometimes that helps push the uh, issue, opens it up a little bit wider. In other words, it was there, but with the Allen block and the witch hazel, everything was working just fine. But then that alcohol got down into it and uh, opened it up, and then that's when it started bleeding. But I did get it off just a little bit over there. It's not bleeding, so it may not pop up until after the shave. It might just be a scratch. Talking and shaving with a straight razor or, or a shave at every once in a while your concentration is diverted. This is great for my nose this morning because it's not working all that well. It's a, uh, the humidity is, uh, the house is dry. So the humidity in the house has got my nose all dried out. Should mention that this particular uh, shaving cream comes in a tube. You can also find it in a tub, so it just kind of sort of depends on what your your preference is. I probably should mention also that the uh, uh, Parker shave bed that's got the clip has a beveled edge and where this you kind of see how it's made uh, so it is going to shave different some people might find that this might be easier to use as it goes for finding the angle that works best for you. I don't know if uh, Mike is picking that up, but Thor's outside the door. He's meowing, wanting in. <laughs> He's been a pill this fed to this morning. Shaving cream is working out pretty well. Should mention this is not my first tube either. It does. It whips up pretty pretty quick. It's easy to use. And that's kind of typical of a lot of the uh, shaving creams if you're kind of wondering 
the difference in between the shaving cream and the soap and how quick it lathers up. It seems like the, the shaving cream, I guess you might say, has the edge on that sort of thing. But to me, my experience is that the soap lasts longer as it goes for the tub or uh, say like even Prasso, in other words, you know, because you're getting over five ounces and that seems to last longer than, than the shaving cream that you get in a tube. At least that's my experience. He's, Thor's going down the hall and just a meow, and he's, he's wanting in here, he's wanting to see what's going on. He's been, a, been quite curious here the past few days, wanting to know what all's going on, closed doors. You let him in one door, then five minutes later, he's wanting back out. T temperature of the soap, the shaving cream, I should say, is still pretty warm. Scuttle's doing a good job keeping the lather warm. Face feels pretty good, too. Not everybody will, uh, how you say, enjoy shave it. It does take a certain amount of, uh, uh, I guess you might say, determination <laughs> to learn how to use one of them. Not only that, you also need to be patient with yourself. In most cases, you're not going to figure this out overnight. It's going to take a moment. And you just got to be patient with yourself. With uh, patience, determination, it'll all come to you eventually. Watch the videos with folks that shave with uh, straight razors, uh, with shave beds that are very similar in technique. In other words, finding the angle and how... For me, I use the long strokes, as you can kind of tell, at least what I would refer to as long strokes. If you look at some other folks, um, they may use very short strokes. I guess you might say choppy. I don't feel comfortable doing it that way. And I also, I don't trust my left hand. I've, I've tried my left hand. It's, it's, it's not an enjoyable experience because it, for me, mentally, I'm just so uncomfortable using my left hand that I I just find myself uh, deciding that I'll just use my right hand and I'm quite all right with it. And I've been using my right hand and only my right hand for a while now. So I'm quite all right with it. Got just a little bit of stinging back over here where I got my angle off. <laughs> Outside that, you know, it's, it's sting free. It, I have to say... When it comes to this particular shaver, uh, finding the angle with this one is pretty easy. It seems to be easier to find it with this one here versus uh, uh, the one with a, a Parker shave head that has the, the clip in it. All right, so show you what this rail looks like. There's the blade, and you can kind of see where the little, there's two clips. It's easy to place the blade in there. That's not ever been my issue. With this is just the when I go to right there when I go to push it back in for whatever reason it catches the blade and then it comes out at an angle and uh, doing it up there in other words I don't do it up here so in other words but I when I go ahead and put it down closer to waist level there we go that's what I'm talking about the blade comes out like that I have a towel just right over here that I just kind of gently push it back in after I push this rail all the way in you kind of see what I'm talking about there, that blade sticking up like that. So what I do is I just come over here and I just ever so gently push the blade back in there. And it's, it's ready to go. But for some folks, that's going to be off-putting. They're not going to like it. And I understand because uh, uh, there's a, the one with the clip on there, it's a lot easier to load. But on the other hand, I think some people might find this particular one easier to learn how to use because the angle is easier to find on um, this one here, I believe, as opposed to the one with the clip. But there, there's my thoughts on all that. Here's the Humphrey's Witch Hazel. This is my deeply discounted version, one that I found at uh, Marshall's, marked down to $2, which is a heck of a bargain, because usually at Marshall's it runs about $5.99. Last time I looked, Marshall's, uh, when I last time went to Marshall's, they still had just a few 
uh, of the Humphrey Witch Hazel in this style container. They've updated their container or you could say they changed their container depending on how you want to look at it. To me, it's, they just changed it, changed the labeling. It's, to me, it's all the same. It's just different look. Aftershave. Um, this is, yeah, this is going to be one of those that it's not going to be for everybody. If you don't like the eucalyptus, the mint helps take some of the edge off the eucalyptus, but sometimes the, the strength of eucalyptus can be off-putting to some people. They're not going to like it. Uh, for me, it's a, got that, uh, got it on there too tight. Uh, for me, it's one of those things that I, uh, I do enjoy the eucalyptus, menthol, spearmint, wintergreen, you know, in other words, anything that helps uh, open my nose up for the, especially during the winter months, is sometimes it gets pretty tough to smell much of anything, much less breathe through my nose. <laughs> but boy, howdy, it is great for my nose. Nice cooling effect. So in other words, like a shave like this, in other words, where I got my angle off just a little bit, it feels like it's calming the, the area down. And also, if it's uh, one of those things for me that I use from time to time, especially if I feel like I've got my angle off, straight razor that I'm not quite accustomed to is taking me a little bit more effort to, uh, I guess you might say, learn how to use it. This stuff right here is great. Uh, Nivea for men. This, this cream, putting it out on your face after a shave like that, if you're, in other words, you're still new and you a little too much pressure, whatever the case might be, have some sore spots or some spots that might be irritated. For me, this stuff works great, as well as the, uh, the aftershave balm. Uh, those are great products that typically you can find this, at, in other words, at your Target or your Walmart. In other words, you just walk in the store, and there it is. These are great to have around. Uh, by the way, yeah, this is a huge t uh, container here, 2.6 ounces. I have seen some travel size Nivea uh, that you can usually find for about a buck. It's a lot smaller because this, it, for me, it a little bit goes a long way. So I still got quite a bit left in there. Uh, but I just thought I'd mention that because it, it does help my face if I, you know, have a straight razor that's not quite the edge not up to snuff so the shave was kind of rough <laughs> testing out the edge and it wasn't quite right <laughs> for me not for my liking at any rate i had a great shave today hope everybody's doing well stay safe and depending on where you're at stay warm smooth shades to you